Hi guys! So you haven't seen my face in a while and I apologize for that because I was away recently in Hawaii for family vacation and I just spent a lot of time with my family and hopefully you guys all had an awesome Christmas and that you're having fun on your Christmas break depending on when this is up, if it's up before New Year's, hopefully you're having a safe New Year's Eve, you know, out with your friends, uh, don't drink and drive because that's not good. And if it's up after New Year's, hopefully you had a good 2013 and happy 2014, which I'm really excited about. Make some New Year's resolutions, um, set goals for yourself in the new year. And yes, yeah, so today's video is going to recap some of my favorite products of 2013, which I'm super excited about. I'm really sad that 2013's over because I just had an overall amazing year. I had some really good opportunities to do some fun things. So basically how I'm doing this is I took the Best of 2000 tag that my home girl Bethany Mona did and I'm doing it, applying it to the products for 2013. So yeah, and also I apologize for my voice. Somehow when I was on the plane, um, I woke up and my voice just really got really, really raspy and crackly. So I don't know what happened, but that's why my voice is like this. Let's get on to the video. Oh my god, I cannot believe I didn't buy this foundation sooner because it really is amazing. Um, it's the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous foundation in the shade 925. I freaking love this because it stays on all day. It's really, really full coverage. Like you, um, It's a really, really good drugstore foundation. I love it. So it's like, it's easily blendable but it has full coverage and it's just really, really nice and matte on my face because I have super duper oily skin and... <laughs> Yeah, this is just overall really good foundation, and you can find it in most drugstores, so that is amazing, and yeah, it's really, really accessible, really easy to find. I think this was like 10 to like $13 at any drugstore, really, anywhere, so this is one of my favorite face products of the year. I swear to God, NYX makes like the best drugstore makeup ever, but this is by NYX Blush in Mocha, which is just like this really pretty pinky color, and I absolutely love this blush. It's really, really blendable and pigmented, but it also just looks super, super natural on your skin. I can wear this all throughout the year. I think I bought this in the summer before I went to camp, and I freaking wore it every day at camp. It is beautiful. So this foundation is top on my list. That would be Benefits Their Real Mascara. You can't really see it anymore because, like, I've used it so much. I was going to buy a full size of this today at Sephora, but I haven't seen very many drugstore brushes that are like this. It has, like, the bristles but then it has like a little spiky ball on top and I can tell why so many people love this mascara. Um, it lengthens, it separates, uh, it doesn't clump, it's also very voluminous and just makes your lashes look super bold and out there without like you know clumping or doing anything like that. So I absolutely love this mascara. I'm definitely, next time I go into Sephora or anywhere that sells Benefit products, I am definitely buying a full size of this bad boy. My favorite lip product would have to be the C.O. Bigelow Mentha Lip Tint in Magenta Mint. This is amazing. It gives you a really nice magenta tint, which is just really, really natural on your lips. And it also, as I drop it on the floor, um, it also like uh, gives you this like mint tint, so it like freshens your breath too. And it also is really awesome because it's moisturizing, so like you don't get that really, really like, sticky feeling. It's moisturizing, non-sticky. And I love that. You can get that gloss at Bath & Body Works. This was a lifesaver in 2013. My skin, as I put so many like astringents and like harsh scrubs on it, it kind of dries it out. So this helps out so much. This is Meluca's Clarity Clear Skin Essentials Oil Free Moisturizer. Holy cow, this is amazing. Um, it's really, really good because again, I have oily teenage skin. Um, I love using this moisturizer just after I tone my face. I just put this all over my face. It stays nice and soft and pretty without, you know, having those harsh chemical oils on my face. And I, f this is so good. It has hydrating cucumber and soothing green tea and owl. It also has melaleuca oil in it, which is most likely known as tea tree oil. So I, and this is just amazing. This is a really, really good moisturizer. I highly recommend it. Although I don't wear nail polish that often anymore because, you know, I'm working and everything like that. And I can't really wear nail polish to work. But this one I wore quite a bit in 2013. It is the... For Audrey Nail Polish by China Glaze, and I love the color of it. It's just this really pretty Tiffany blue color. Um, it's nice. Uh, China Glaze, I find, doesn't chip as bad as other nail polish brands, and it stays in super well. So this is one of my favorite nail polishes of the year. Of course, I have to talk about my Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play Hairspray. This is awesome because it doesn't feel heavy in your hair, yet it still holds your style in so much. I love this for when I 
curling my hair, straightening my hair, waving my hair out, just trying to leave it natural. This is amazing and it also works really, really good in ponytails. I don't see a lot of people really talking about this hairspray that much, but it is super duper good and I absolutely love it. So this is my favorite hairspray of the year. It's so hard for me to pick just one, but I had to because this is one of my favorites. I've been wearing it a lot this year. Marc Jacobs Daisy Oh So Fresh. Oh, I love this perfume to death. It's so fresh and easy to go. I'm actually wearing it today and it's one of my favorite perfumes of all time. I love the Marc Jacobs perfumes. Oh my gosh, they are amazing. So this is my little favorite and I've like loved the packaging on this, like the little container. I really like the big one too, but I just bought the little one just to try it out. But this is like my favorite perfume ever. This is probably one of my signature scents and I really like it. Again, that's really hard because I went through so many clothing trends in 2013, but I would probably have to say my denim shirts and oh my gosh, I forgot. I to close one of my buttons when I was trying on clothes today. Uh, but I'd probably say denim shirts I'm actually wearing right now. It's not like a pure denim shirt, but it has like that chambray kind of feel to it. Um, this is from J. Crew and it's polka dot and I absolutely love it. It's kind of like a boyish fit too. And I just think denim shirts are so awesome and versatile. You can like do so many different things with them. You can leave a button with like this. You can put a sweater over it and just have the collar showing. Um, you could have like layer with like t-shirts and tank tops. And I really just love denim shirts because they are so versatile and I, I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm excited and I love denim shirts and I'm excited to rock them in more ways in 2014. Have to be rings. And I have like this little ring bowl that I got for Christmas that I'll be talking more about in my Christmas video. But my favorite ring would have to be this little bow ring from... Henry Bendel and I'll actually zoom up on it. This is what the ring looks like and I think it's so beautiful. It has like little studs on each side of the bow and I just think it is so beautiful. I find that 2013 was the year I kind of got more into rings and this one I find is so beautiful, so dainty and so easy and I just love rings in general. I bought a whole bunch when I was away on my trip and I got some for Christmas so I'm really excited for 2014 to you know wear some more rings and everything like that. I'm actually thinking of keeping this one on for the rest of the video. These are like my favorite shoes ever. I feel like I wear these for everything, for work, for school, for just going out. These are my Steve Madden Troopas. I actually bought them at the beginning of the year with my Christmas money and I think these are beautiful. They're so nice. They're so comfy. Versatile. You can wear them with any different outfit. I wear these a lot with leggings and jeans but I also can wear them with like my tights and I just think these are overall amazing, so versatile, so easy to wear, um, you can do anything with those kind of boots, and I don't know, I just think that combat boots are really cute. They've been in for a couple uh, seasons now, I think they're just going to be a stable piece in everyone's closet. Okay, so I actually have a favorite TV show and a favorite movie. My TV show is Nashville. Holy cow, if you guys saw the last episode, oh my god, it ended on such a cliffhanger. But I watched like the little clip that like you could see for to like see for the next episode. Oh my god, my mind is just blown. I'm I'm just waiting for January 15th to come so that I can watch Nashville and just get back to this show that I love. And my favorite movie, this was really hard because I saw two great movies. Um, I would probably have to say The Great Gatsby over Catching Fire. And I love the book, I love the movie, um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, he's my favorite and I absolutely love Leonardo DiCaprio and it was just overall such a good movie. I did love Catching Fire though, but it didn't leave the same effect that uh, Great Gatsby did. I read a lot of good books in 2013, but I would have to say The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I laughed, I cried, I smiled. Um, it was just such a good book and I'm not going to spoil anything, but I'm so excited for the movie to come out in 2013. June 6th, I will be in the theaters watching this movie, so yeah. Get excited. I love this book. If you haven't read it yet, go to Barnes & Noble, Target, wherever sells books and buy it. It's it's just an amazing book. I actually didn't think I would have any to show in this video. Barbecue pop chips are literally an addiction. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that I tweeted when I was in Hawaii that I am literally addicted to barbecue pop chips. Oh my goodness, they are just so delicious. I'm actually going to eat one right now because why not? Mmm, it's so good. Go buy these. You'll fall in love too. My favorite beverage is of course the Starbucks beverage because you know, with being a partner, you love your Starbucks. Um, I would probably say a soy caramel macchiato. So good, so delicious. I 
really have gotten more into caramel macchiatas this year and more like coffee based drinks because you know working at Starbucks you like get free coffee all the time so that would probably be my favorite beverage. Favorite song of 2013 and thank you Christian for recommending this song to me and it is Called Out in the Dark by Snow Patrol. Oh my goodness that song is just so good. Even though it didn't come out in 2013 I still really like that song. I found it before I went on my Mexico trip. Um, that was probably back in March and overall it's just an amazing song. If you haven't listened to it yet, I will link it down below so that you'll listen to it. I've also loved Suit and Tie by Justin Timberlake. I am so jealous of everyone that's going to his concert on the 13th and the 14th of January because I would love to go so, so, so much because I love Justin Timberlake and he's just amazing. He's a good actor and he also dances and sings so that's like a triple threat right there. You go JT. I love you. That is this whole entire top prize of 2013 video. Hopefully you guys are having a good break from school and have a safe and happy new year. Hopefully 2014 brings you all the things that you ever wanted in the whole wide world and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!